Hello everyone, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner, part of the Running Network. Well, we're here inside the uh, Sahara Stadium, and uh, as you see behind me, they are putting the scaffolding together for the uh, finish line of the Comrades Marathon. Uh, they're doing a rush project here. This is a huge undertaking as they have uh, fencing and scaffolding all over the stadium, uh, getting it all ready for the big day. Then B school and uh, this is a school for uh, uh, disadvantaged and um, handicapped kids and uh, they're getting ready to uh, put a little performance on for us here As you can see, they're dancing and singing and putting on quite a show here for us. You can hear it all. This is pretty cool. I'm here this morning at the Comrades uh, Marathon House. This has uh, been quite a place to see all the history that's been involved with this race. Uh, as I go through the museum here and everything with it, it's uh, truly, uh, as they say, the ultimate human race and what what, um, what this race means to this country and and uh, with the World War One is it right after they started it and now it's becoming, uh, like I said, a human festival of people from all over the earth coming here to run and uh, this, um, it's going to be quite an event here when, when we all show up on Sunday morning. Um, I, I feel like the, as I've heard and read that this is one of the greatest races on the face of the planet. So it, uh, it's been a dream of mine to come here and do this and to be in South Africa after hearing all the years about apartheid and seeing it now that it's become a country of uh, where people come all over the earth to run this special race and they're going to be hosting the World Cup uh, in soccer next year. This is going to be really something. And here I'm getting a view of the comrades house here. And I'll go inside and see what it's like. We have about 300 runners, uh, foreign uh, runners who are here today. As uh, they're a host committee here, put out a spread of food for all his visitors today. Pretty cool along here. They have all these stones and they put uh, green placards on them. Uh, some people, um, you, I talked to somebody who said that you can buy yourself a placard, put it on, have it put on. And then uh, some of the great runners uh, are obviously listed on here. And uh, this is quite a, quite a structure here. It goes up. A couple hundred feet long. Hi there, my name is Bram Malhoba. I live in Cape Town in sunny South Africa. And I've been very privileged and fortunate to do some really, I think, amazing things. 2006, I ran the Great Wall of China. Um, myself and my friend David Greer were the first two people ever to have accomplished that in a single attempt. Um, that is to say we ran a marathon a day. Uh, average distance, in fact, of 43 kilometers a day, six days a week taking a much needed uh, one day rest uh, at the end of that week and we carried on doing that for 98 days and covered a distance of 4,218 kilometers. Um, it was an amazing feeling to, to get to the Bohai Sea and know that not only did we do something extraordinary but we benefited a lot of children in the process. We raised a substantial amount of money for Operation Smile um, who are in fact um, started in America in the US uh, and they, their inaugural mission or group of operations took place in South Africa in September 06 while we were on the Great Wall. And 54 children got the opportunity to smile 
um, after magical surgery for the first time in their lives. Um, and then something else we did is uh, 2008 we ran a marathon a day from Namibia on the west coast of, of southern Africa all the way down the coastline to Cape Town and then all the way up north again to Mozambique on the east coast and, and if you picture that it's running a smile around South Africa also for Operation Smile um, and yeah it's, it's changed my son's life as well he's been a volunteer with Operation Smile on both of those missions and really I think one of the greatest lessons I learned in my life that truly the greatest gift is giving is to, is to put it out there and say what is my fullest potential where is my heart where is my head and get those two things to marry and know that even if you're an ordinary guy and I'm, I'm or an ordinary person I'm a very ordinary regular down-to-earth person but I do believe that nothing is impossible if you believe it in, in the mind you can do absolutely anything with your life that do it? I'm Edward Chapman from the UK. I live in Cornwall. Um, unfortunately, uh, a few years ago, I ran the um, Two Oceans Marathon in Cape Town, and I met uh, Estin and Nadia, who organised uh, the Addo 100 mile race and the Akrabi's Extreme Marathon. And they invited me to come and run them. And uh, being a sort of ultra runner, I said yes. So I started off doing the Addo 50 miler, which runs through an elephant park near Port Elizabeth and it's 50 miles through some of the most beautiful countryside in the world and I loved every minute of it and when I finished they said oh you must come and do the Akrabi's extreme marathon in the Kalahari so like an idiot I said yes and that involves running 250 kilometers through a desert carrying all your own equipment all your food your sleeping equipment your clothes your safety equipment everything and you run for seven days through a desert and it, I enjoyed it so much I've been back and done it another time and I'm doing it again in October um, and they very kindly asked me to come and work on the stand so I could tell other runners about how nice their runs are. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, my name is Admas Bilalain, I'm originally from Ethiopia but I live in New York uh, I have done Comrade six times, this is my seventh one, hopefully I'll go up to ten uh, I'm not sure it's so expensive to come here, but every year I try to squeeze everybody to make it. So it's the most exciting race. It's the ultimate human race, they say. It's really true. You do one and then you plan for the next year, so it's fantastic.